morning guys we are doing uh one of my favorite things that i like to do and that is removing a train xl 1200 heat pump little three ton uh we're going back with a three and a half because uh this unit is a is a little small for the house <clears throat> the condenser is not in terribly bad shape but uh the evaporator has got multiple refrigerant leaks you can see the contactor's been replaced. The capacitor's been replaced right there. Uh, this one's been replaced. So overall, this one's this one the un, the condensing unit's not in too bad a shape. But we're gonna tear it out and put some new equipment in here. All right, guys, I got the new unit in place and fitted up. I got my dryer in there. Suction line just made a bend with the heel more. I got a Tyler's going to get the nitrogen tank. There's the train uh, doing what I think trains are meant to do for me, holding up my umbrella, keeping the sun off of me. So that's the new job for the train XL1200. There, handler's in place. Uh, we just got a tape and all that good stuff, and you know, solder, normal stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and braze this up as soon as we get the nitrogen flowing. And then my electrician, there's no disconnect box as you can see. Uh, I don't have a disconnect. Usually I do them myself. We don't have a code. I mean, uh, we can, AC guys, we can do our own disconnects. But I, the, my electrician that I use is a friend of mine. And he just started his own business uh, about a year ago. So I, I've been throwing him some work, and I'll, I'll pay him to do it. You know, he'll come out here, he'll put me a disconnect, and I don't have to fool with it. And plus, you know, I'm I'm, I'm trying to help the guy out, you know, because uh, he, he throws a lot of work my way, too. You know, he goes to somebody's house, and they'll ask him about air conditioning. He gives it to me, so he's on his way over here. He's going to pop me a disconnect on the wall, and uh, his shit, he, and he'll probably even wire up the unit for me. But uh, so I'm going to braze. Go braze inside, start a vacuum, and I'm gonna let my and then get out my electrician's way and let him work. All right, guys, everything's coming along nicely. All the brazing is done out here. My electrician is here. He's got a box mounted on the wall. He's working on that. Got the little voltage done out here. You see my bundle of wire nuts right there. And uh, all the brazing's done inside. I'm gonna get out my electrician's way, let him finish up, and then start the vacuum. And uh, I gotta go get some Armaflex. I'm out of rubber. I'm out of Armaflex. I ain't got any at all. Grab a bite to eat and come back and start the system up. Guys, we have the system in a vacuum. My electrician's done. There's my disconnect box that he put me. Everything came out nice. So now all we gotta do is let it pull down. I gotta go run the supply house and get a stat and rubber text, like I said earlier. And then I'll be back to check on this vacuum and hopefully she'll be good to go and then we'll start the system up. Alright guys, we're holding in at about 122. Getting ready to unhook the vacuum, put the smart tool on, and start the system up. Guys, our unit is operational. The smart tool hooked up. It just, it literally just started. And our disconnect came out real nice. So we're gonna let it sit here and run about 15 minutes or so while we clean up and let it stabilize and then get a target superheat and just a piston and see where we're supposed to be. All right, guys, the pressures are starting to settle down and uh, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Zach. That's Talon on here. Uh, this is the thermostat wire coming down here and it wasn't this uh, whip they made for it was not long enough to reach my new unit. So I had to make a splice and I tied the splice up under here. And uh, this is my second change out for the week. And I saw Zach's video of this stuff you can get at Harbor Freight right here from a thermostat wiring and I'm using it. 
This is the second job that I've used it on. This is the quarter inch one and it works beautiful uh, for thermostat wire. It slides right in there. So I wanted to thank Zach for uploading that video. I mean, that's what, that's what this community and that's what YouTube is all about is helping each other out. And Zach showed us that, that video of this stuff and I'm using it now and it works great. It blends in with the rubber tacks and uh, I mean, my splice, I'll be honest with you, it's, my splice is, it's kind of ugly, but I mean, that's, that's really the best I could do with it. You know, I mean, uh, I couldn't really do anything else with it. Uh, I mean, you know, I had to put wire nuts on there, so I couldn't slip this black stuff over it, but this stuff does work great for thermostat wire. So I just wanted to, uh, thank Zach for pointing that video out and showing that. We're starting to settle down. Uh, I haven't went and got my wet bulb and stuff yet, but we're looking pretty good. And uh, we'll see what the final pressure's come to. Here's a quick shot of our air handler. Popper came out nice. I burnt the 410A tag. I'm very famous for that when I'm brazing. It's very easy to catch that little tag on fire. But we got us a SS2 float switch and a drain and the duck board plenum. But it uh it all came out nice. Alright guys, there she is in all her glory. Uh it's already dropped like four degrees in the house, so it's doing very well. Everything came out well. I think my line set came out really nice. My electrician saved me some work, did a great job on the disconnect. So that is it. She is up and running. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one.